Hey, cha cha, dobro jutro, my friends. How you doing? Charles here. And today I'm going to review a real, actual, no bullshit review of a hotel here in New Belgrade. This one here is called the Wimbledon Garni Concept. I, you know, I, before I came into this hotel, I've always seen that Garni, that term Garni, all over the place. Didn't know what it meant, so I, I spoke with this awesome, unbelievable staff in here, Dushin and Alexandra, and they told me Garni means more or less bed and breakfast. Uh, if you're from the USA or you're from an English-speaking company country, you know what that means. And I just woke up. I didn't want to review the place until I actually slept in the bed, experienced the noise levels, etc. Okay, I stayed here. Uh, this place is located right beside Belgrade Arena here in New Belgrade. Uh, literally, it's right there. It's right across the street. So phenomenal location right off the interstate. Literally, you pull off the interstate, we're here. Uh, so the location is phenomenal. Let me show you. Okay, this is the entry here of this beautiful little hotel. And this is what you get for breakfast. You got some fresh fruits, little snacks, all sorts of different meats. place here for coffee. And there's the man of the hour. Okay, now let's check out the room. This is the room I slept in, okay? Here at Wimbledon Garney Concept B&B. You've got my, this is the queen bed. I slept in the queen bed. And I, as I told you, I didn't do the review until I slept in the bed because I'm picky with beds. Either the mattresses seem to be too soft and you sink down in or they're too gosh darn hard or they're too uh, thin. But this one was perfect. I don't know what it's made of, but look at that. The You're not sinking down in, but it fits your back perfectly. Another complaint with a lot of hotels that I have are the pillows. They're either too soft and your head goes clear down. I, I'm a guy that sleeps with two just like so. They're nice, perfect, comfortable, clean. You know, I, I've also got somewhat of a phobia of beds and bathrooms, okay? Because <laughs> I don't like sleeping on a bed. Sheets really, really clean. No stains, nothing like that, of course. Not that I expected it, but I always look because I've stayed in, in some places that were supposed to be nice and there was issues. Really clean, comfortable, comes with plenty of blankets. It's cold out here in Serbia. So many people confuse Serbia with Siberia. And today I can see why, or last night I can see why. Anyway, that's it. Other great thing, plenty of sockets. One of my biggest complaints for Serbian hotels and Serbian places in general, lack of sockets for your electrical devices. Uh, this one has one. It's got this one. You can unplug this if you so desire. You've got the twin bed here for your friend or kid or whatnot. More sockets here and plenty of space in between that. Look, you got leg space, okay? So you, it's not like they're jammed together. It's a big, big room. This side, same thing. More sockets right there. So plenty of them. If you've been to Serbia and you've stayed in places and you've lived in some of the older buildings, you realize what a blessing, what a treat it is to have two, four, six on one wall. That's phenomenal. Then we've got this over here. This is a little desk area. You've got this mini bar. Check all that. You've got plenty of sodas if you want, some carbonated drinks, juices, Lav Pivo, domestic beer, wine, and water, still water, and carbonated. Or some Serbians say gas. <laughs> That's nice to have. Plenty of these teas, black, Earl Grey, and apple. Plenty of coffee. It came with coffee. I drank it all. That's quick. Plug it in. Within like literally 30 seconds, you've got hot water. And I'm a coffee nut. Opa. Perfect. And this is another thing I'm really, really, really picky about. Hate staying in hotels due to the fact that bathrooms typically are never clean. Loved the tile there on the floor. You can see a reflection through it. It's so clean. 
and everything is white, 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 which is awesome because you can see if it's dirty and it's not. This is a vanity here, right? White, nice. Another big complaint for me for hotels is lack of shower gels, shampoos, and conditioners. And I don't, I never use conditioners, but anyway, this comes with lots of shower gel, lots of shampoo, lots of soap. So you don't have to worry about running out or bringing your own, which is phenomenal. Comes with a blow dryer, which is also convenient, unless you have little bits of hair like me and you don't need it. In here also, another complaint for me in hotels, lack of towels had plenty of them. you got the large body towels face towels and ones i use for the floor okay got that very clean toilet this is always nice to know it has been disinfected that's on there so if you open it it slides off so i know it was clean comes with extra toilet paper if you eat a bed chev up plenty of toilet paper there the other thing i like to look i'm, I'm a clean freak so i look for spots I don't like dirty bathrooms, and this one is white. So let's look. I can see myself through there. Can you see me? Unbelievably clean in here. So whoever does this does an absolutely phenomenal job. It's unbelievably clean. Now let's look at the shower. Another complaint when I stay in hotels is the shower. Either the water's not hot enough, it doesn't have enough pressure, etc. Huge ceilings, huh? You can get in here easy, so if you're a larger person, you can fit. Uh, and in here, you've got the no-slip little mat, of course. And great thing, lots of pressure. You don't have a buildup of calcium and, and, and lime and or whatnot on there that just makes it dribble out. You know, a lot of places it just dribbles and whatnot. This comes out hard, fast. It's phenomenal. You don't want to get out of the shower, and the water's instantly hot. You turn this on, hot water, and it's instantly hot up there, which is a huge, huge bonus. Because another thing here in Serbia, some bathrooms in, in hotels, etc., not just Serbia, other places, you turn on the hot water and you have to wait like three or four minutes before it actually starts getting warm. It's frustrating. Uh, and the other thing that's great, you don't have to worry here about turning on the light switch in the bathroom for the hot water heater. It's automatically there. So the bathroom gets massive, massive, massive thumbs up from me. Clean, beautiful, lots and lots of amenities in there for you. Okay, now let's check out some other things here with this hotel. The important stuff we've got. Look at this location. Oh my God, can you get any better than this? We are right here. Wimbledon Garney Concept. You've got Belgrade Arena right across the street. If Sets is playing, if you're watching tennis or whatnot, get over here. This is perfect. You're right across the street. You could crawl back. If you have a phenomenal night and you lose your voice and you drink a lot, crawl across the street. We're right here. Look at that. Also, the other awesome, awesome thing about the location, we're right off the interstate. You literally turn here and we're here. So easy if you're headed down to southern Serbia or northern Serbia, all you got to do is pop off the interstate. We're here. There's parking here also. And also, we are located between Ushje Shopping Center. It's literally a block and a half away. Huge shopping center. It's got everything you can ever imagine. And Mercator Shopping Center. It's like right here, I believe, because I ate there last night. Sarma at a place called Good Food. I highly recommend it too. It's like a buffet style place. Awesome, awesome Sarma. So we're like right there between two massive shopping centers. You've got the river over here, beautiful park, and a big K. You can walk all along this K. Big casino, Hotel Yugoslavia is over here that's got a really good Nargila bar too, my friends. Uh, jogging, there's a beautiful K, as I stated. It's like stone. There's also workout, uh, street workout stuff out in this big park. The Skupština is right here, the big Serbian parliament building with a beautiful sign that says, like, I heart Serbia in Chirilica. It's cool. I got to get my picture with that. But anyway, you cannot beat that location, friends. It's like just maybe two miles, a mile to downtown, old town Serbia. This is New Belgrade, old town right over here. Everything you're going to, Skadarli, all the cool kafanas. Splavs, all the Splav, the riverboat, the nightlife is right here. I didn't even mention that. You can just literally walk there back. So close. And the best night nightlife in Europe is here, folks. Anyway, that's the location. Let's check out the website quickly. You can look at it on your own. This is it. 
okay? Garney, Wimbledon, I'm not going to go through and read it. You get their home, you get pictures. It's a four-star hotel with five rooms, location, location, location. That is it, friends. That's what makes this absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let's check here. Let's see what the reviews are. I'm big review guy here. Booking.com is probably the most common place any foreigner is going to go to to book a room in a hotel. Okay, four stars. Out of 312 reviews, they're giving it 9.4, folks. That's phenomenal. 91% of the guest reviews said their expectations of the property met or exceeded what they expected. Phenomenal numbers there. Pricing, let's look at the pricing, break it down a little bit more and see what we've got. This is to go right into booking.com. Superior room, this is for a random day. I picked Thursday to a Friday. Uh, so it's not Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday rates. 62 bucks, that's roughly 59 US dollars, okay? Under 60 bucks. Then you've got free cancellations, uh, no prepayment for 65, seven, 5,200 for one person. There, there's five rooms in here, as I say. You got a single, queen, uh, etc. Five total rooms. Some are 50. This would be roughly 49 bucks. So under 50 bucks. Perfect location with so much to see and do around it in, within walking distance. Comfortable beds. Quiet hotel. Uh, that's phenomenal. What else can we see? Did I show you this? This is also a big deal on Google. Google reviews, 33 reviews here. Hotel's been in business two years, 4.9 stars. Almost perfection, folks. Can't beat it. Anyway, when we look at the comfort of the bed, we look at the prices, we look at that location, we look at the staff out here, Dushan and Alexandra, unbelievably friendly folks. I came in yesterday, we had a coffee. We sit out here and had a coffee and just chit-chatted. They, they speak perfect English language. He was telling me about the hotel, how passionate they are about making this hotel better uh, and how it's for business travel. And most of their guests are business travelers. Uh, and everybody loves the fact that they can just talk to these two. They can help you find tours, whatever you want. They're gonna make it feel like your home. Great breakfast, I'm gonna go check in a minute. Um, just great place you know for that location price internet also is phenomenally fast i upload videos all the time big ones because my videos I, I talk i talk longer than uh the average person i just ramble so my videos are always two gigabytes whatnot uploaded quick fast internet so business travelers it's perfect lots of sockets for your electrical devices just a phenomenal place i give it Two thumbs up, Dobie.